I've had so many people in my comments come to me and say, yo, one step, I can do long combos in Mortal Kombat 1. I can do combos, but I don't know how to fight. They're asking me, what do I think inside of a fight? Like, what do I need to be aware of? And what, what do I got to focus on? And how can I fight better? Aside from just doing long combos. Well, today I'm going to break it down for you nice and easy and show you what to think and how to think during a fight. So that way you can fight better. Subscribe here for more fighting game content and let's get into it. Okay, a lot of this is going to sound like basic beginner stuff and it kind of is but the things you need to be focusing on and thinking about before the fight starts and during the fight first things first you have to know who you're fighting because that right there is a big part dictating how you're going to fight whoever your opponent is is going to change how you fight people can't grasp that they think i'm going to fight the same way every single time and then wonder why they lose like i main raiden i have for a long time so he's my main in mortal kombat one and the way i fight peacemaker is very different than the way that i might fight scorpion my game plan and strategies are mixed up i have to adapt to my opponent because if i don't then i'm screwed on top of that you have to know who your opponent's cameo is so let's say i'm fighting scorpion okay now well, now my game plan for scorpions in my head okay they're choosing serena as a cameo right off the bat i'm going to assume they're gonna to try to zone me out just because of the way that they typically play yes you're gonna get some weird one-offs these are just like the averages in my experience whenever i see a scorpion serena combo they're usually gonna try and zone you out scorpion's gonna spear you and then throw out the serena blades me fighting that is very different than other duos in the game now with that being said you have to understand your own play style and changes you'll have to likely make based off your opponent what i mean by that is understanding your own character like your main character understanding your strengths and your weaknesses and kind of adapting on the fly again to your opponent so for an example i play raiden take away cameos for one second my mixed game consists of my low options here my overheads with my forward three four punish moves are one two or two four both are a high starter so i gotta keep that in mind he does have a pretty good cross up with arrow one these are all strengths and things that I need to know about my character and what I need to do during the fight. You need to know that for your character. What's your character good at and what's your most likely game plan for the average fight? Not only that, but who is your cameo? And are you using the cameo that enhances your weaknesses or are you using the cameos that just enhance your strengths? Like if I'm playing Liu Kang, for example, one of my weaknesses is I don't have a ton of good overhead options for mix. So I might use Sonya for a cameo to help give me that mix. Or Chameleon, because whenever she's Melina, I have an overhead option do you want to cover your base like that or do you want to extend your combo game by using serena maybe even jacks for more combo extension or do you want overall utility to your kit by playing tremor motaro for a teleport and a projectile reflect or kung lao that offers a mix and a teleport for utility and mobility you might hear some pro player go oh well actually kung lao is the best cameo for Liu kang it's like well yeah sure if you're trying to win millions of dollars at a pro competition he's like the best option for like frame data moveset sure i guess i don't know if that's true i'm just saying like for an example but why do you care you should be playing however you want to play so if you want to use frost because you love her low freeze move then use frost who cares that might just be the way that you want to play and that's totally valid another thing you gotta keep in mind when fighting is you are fighting a person that person behind the controller your opponent behind that controller they have habits and they're gonna likely tell you those habits pretty early on in the game like with their fight moves they're gonna quite literally tell you their game plan their strategies their habits pretty early on on, you have to be able to read that and go oh okay they're doing this law i gotta change it up and do this instead you have to be able to read your opponent and focus on them almost more than you focus on yourself honestly and then you gotta look at your own habits too like i know one of my biggest weaknesses is i'm a big jump in kind of, i jump in a lot so if i jump in and my opponent let's say up blocks me for example and keeps punishing me i should probably stop jumping in because i'm just gonna get up blocked right or i change it to my advantage i go in for a jump i don't hit we call that an empty jump and then i just grab that could be me adapting to their punishing me on my jump in and i only do that because i look at my own habits and see okay what am i doing wrong and this is all going on in the midst of the fight so it is very fast like you're, you're making these decisions pretty fast throughout the fight and also try different things man you got to be able to care they're blocking a lot of my overheads here i'm gonna go for the lows okay they're blocking that i'm gonna go for a grab then like you have to realize what your opponent is doing and what they're good at and adapt to that on the fly you can't just be button mashing because any experienced character just gonna like completely shut that down let me show you guys in a real fight i'm gonna go online and show i'm gonna speak out loud as i'm fighting so you can see real time what i'm thinking and what i'm doing to adapt in the midst of the fight that way you can use these tips and use this kind of train of thought for yourself and use that to enhance your own gameplay for the record i do use chameleon as a cameo so you might hear me say like katana or jade or melina in this commentary here and just understand
understand that's me talking about my cameo and kind of what I'm planning mentally. I'm gonna do my best to talk out loud throughout the fight as much as I possibly can without getting too sweaty. Just so you guys can get a really good example of like what it means to think in the middle of a fight. All right, here we go. Fighting we got a, we got a general shout. Spirit. Okay, so he's got a good mix-up game. He's using Janet. That's probably for combo extension for sure. There's a jump in punish on that. Free combo for me. I'm gonna get uh, Katana as a cameo in just a moment. I'm gonna make myself safe with the, uh, there we go, safe. And overhead, there we go, look at that, free combo there. I got Melina as a cameo now, I'm gonna go for the mix up, so low, low overhead. It worked, there we go, there's a free, oh, she breaker that, okay. Now I'm gonna zone him out just for a minute, get my cameo back. Go over him, get my cameo back, he's trying to use Janet. There's, uh, there it is, a free punish, ooh, nice, nice, good round, good round, see? I'm talking about like my like what I'm thinking about like what my cat is doing, and uh, I'm gonna get Molina right here. Uh, so that's for an overhead option. Punish again. He's not blocking very well. <laughs> not a lot of projectiles. I use uh, this for funsies for pressure. Overhead. Oh, see. Yeah, okay, he's gonna go for that. Overhead. I don't know why I didn't punish that. That's a low. Okay, I'm gonna go for the overhead here. Ready? Oh, he up block case. Now I know that he can up block. He does up block. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna bait that out, watch. I'm gonna jump in and go for the up block here, ready? Oh, damn, he went for the armor, that was good. Okay, oh, oh, nope, okay, I just couldn't get out of the corner there, okay. But we do know now he up blocks. We need to keep that in mind. Okay, I have uh, Molina for our mix up. There it is again, he, he actually fell for it. Hilarious. Okay, I'm gonna go for the uh, pressure here. He's gonna up block it. Oh, nope, he's not, we went to grab anyways, it's fine. I'm gonna throw out uh, Jade. Oh, nope, I uh, it was too late. That was Katana. I don't know why I didn't block that. I was trying to punish that. It did not work out for me. Okay, we got uh, Melina for a wake-up attack right here. Ready? Wake up. Kind of worked. Ooh, punish again. I didn't think he was gonna do that. All right. Uh, it's pretty close. We're gonna be safe here. Ready? Go for safe and overhead. There it is. That's game, baby. That's game. GG. You know, now that I think about it, it wasn't very smart for me to go for that second overhead because I, I knew he up blocks. I don't know why I still went for it. It did work out, yes, but I could have been pretty heavily punished. He just changed to Serena. He's gonna go for zoning and or more combo extension. Better than Janet does, I guess, for him. Or to drain my meter, either way. I'm gonna zone out, airlift. Okay. Oh, I don't know why he didn't block that. He absolutely should have and could have. Put him in the corner, uh, go for Jade here. Oh, I don't know why he didn't block that either. That is super weird. I mean, I'll take the free combo, but like my guy. Okay, we got Katana, make ourselves safe with this. That's fine. Oh, nice, he didn't up block. Oh, I went to go for the low. That's so stupid of me. Mm, Should have done a better combo than that. Oh, okay. Oh, he jumped right at the last moment. Okay. Oh, he ducked the grab. Okay, so you can duck the grabs and go for the up blocks. Okay, we're gonna use Molina here for a wake up. There it is. Okay. Oh, he's gonna break with that. We're gonna projectile. Jump over it. Oop. Duck that, then block. Overhead, yep. We just need to poke real quick. We just need to poke. What am I doing? There we go. Jeez, I just needed to poke him out. He's like 0.1% health. I was just trying to go for a poke, because even chip damage there would have killed him. Okay, you got Chameleon. Overhead there, starter, perfect. Gonna finish the combo here. We got Jade now. I'm gonna use her right now, before he can use Serena. Okay, poke him out. Okay, we're gonna block there. Here's, oh, low, I should have called that. Oh. He didn't up block that. We got the flawless block there. I uh, went for the four three, it was too slow. Duck. Ah, uh, I think he was gonna hit me. Ah, oh, the overseas. He's got, he's got some really good mix there. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Okay, we're gonna do this and then get out of there. Oh! Did nothing. Oh, off the poke. He got all that combo off the poke. Okay, we'll let him have it. Oh, dang, dude. That was good. He had a full combo off of a low poke from the air. That was really good. Okay, we got Jade now. Throw it out there. Lock it. Oh, does, does not come back. Oh, is he, he's draining my meter. He's gonna up block. Oh, no, he did not. We punished. Anyways. We got uh, Molina, go for the mix-up game. Still worked out for us, that's really good. We're gonna get Jade in a minute. We're gonna go for the low and then Jade. Still worked out. We actually low profiled his uh, high wake-up attack. That was good on us. Put him back in the corner. 
use this make ourselves safe stay there oh he okay we're gonna go for the low mix up again oh he said no oh the low oh my gosh i went for the overhead and i should have because he probably could have uplocked that but he didn't so even though i noticed he was uplocking and i still went for the overhead that's one example of you knowing your opponent can he only did it one time if he had done it more i probably would have done that many jump ins but he kept not blocking it so i did so i created my own habits that he wasn't adapting to that's on him we'll show you guys one more really good example i'm assuming this is going to be a johnny cage because of his uh banner he had there oh it's a scorpion how crazy all right cool so we got uh, Jax as a uh, cameo as well Overhead starter, he did not uplock that as of now, anyways. We're gonna go for the lows, block that, go for the lows again, overhead. Oh, we messed up. That's uh, that's on us. I was trying to go for the low overhead mix up with chameleon, but I did forward cameo instead. Yep. Overhead, he fell for it. That's fine with me. Get a free combo off. Anyways, we got chameleon as a katana. We're gonna do a storm shell, make it safe. There we go. Get out of it. Punish him instead. Oh, psych him out. Uh, end the combo early. Go for the grab. That worked out pretty well. Go for the low profiles. Yep, do it again. It's safe anyways. He's going for the poke. Okay. Oh, I went for the empty jump grab and it kind of worked out in my favor. Okay. We're going to get away from this. Uh, chameleon fan lift. That worked out, baby. That worked out. I just happened to hit him in the air and knew that I could land my one on the ground into my shocker. That was really good. We're going to get away. Teleport. Low overhead. Perfect. Worked out very well for me. Oh, he breaker that. Teleport again. Go for the low profile. Absolutely. Because a lot of uh, Scorpion's attacks are highs. Yep, there's the poke. He fell for that again. Like the overhead. He's just falling for the overhead. We can do this, make it safe, get out of the katana. Overhead again. He's not adapting to that at all. Very interesting. Here we got Molina. We're gonna go for the low overhead mix. Oh, we got Jade instead. That's fine. Poke him out. Oh. He fell for that again. Okay, so he was not punishing our overheads at all. Okay, I'm gonna start with the low profile uh, and go for that real quick. He blocked it. That's fine. Overhead. Oh, he's punched me out of the sky. Okay, he's doing that now. He actually is punishing that. So I need to be, I need to watch that. That was more on him. Oh, shit. I tried to do a forward cameo. I was too late. It's fine. Oh, it's not fine. Okay, we're going to do a fan lift here. Oh, I was too late. Now we got Melina instead. Okay, we got Melina. She's going to go to Jade here in a moment. We're going to wake up. Uh... And jump. Uh, we're kind of locked out of that, honestly. We're kind of locked out there. Ooh, he should not have done that. I'm not using my fatal blow. I don't really think we're going to get the comeback here. Okay, low profile overhead. There it is. Oh, he breakered that? Okay. He should not have done that. We're going to fatal blow now just to guarantee the dub. Because uh, that was one example where we went for the overhead thinking he could punish, and I think he tried to. But we got the uh, we got the overhead hit anyways into the fatal blow combo. This should kill. This should kill. Okay, it did. I was like, that was pretty close. Actually. Okay, we need Jade. I think it's pretty time vulnerable. He can't zone us out now. We'll do free forward three overhead. I mean, uh, yeah, overhead combo starter. I guess we got Melina for a combo extension and overhead mix. There we go. There's the overhead. Perfect. Uh, corner combo. Love to see that. Psych. Oh, he punished the jump in. We could have done way worse there. We went for it again. We're going to do this. Get out of there. Punish this. Oh, never mind. He locked us out. That sucks. Low mix. That's game. He's going to break her, actually. Yep. Jump. I thought he was going to spear it. Oh, I'm trying to go for the spear. I know he's going for it. I know he's going for it. Oh, I thought he got us right between the between the string there. That sucks. All right, wake up armor. Wait for the dub. Ready? Or Melina, right here for the dub. That's fine. Did you guys see what I'm saying when there is so much going on in your head during a fight? You're trying to think about your habits you're creating and what you should adapt to with your opponent and their habits. Your cameo, their cameo, what's your game plan, what kind of mix do you got? How are you going to punish certain things that might whiff or might get blocked? There's a lot going on and that all takes time and practice. You're not going to get it overnight, but you're going to take it one step at a time and you'll get there sooner or later. I hope this video helped you understand how to actually fight in Mortal Kombat 1 and what 
what should be going through your brain during a fight and what you need to be focusing on if it did make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe here for more mortal kombat and fighting game content take it one step at a time and go ahead and click into these videos next for more mortal kombat news guides reactions and more